Next week, there's a new Wolfman movie coming out. Are you looking forward to it? I am, though I would describe myself as being cautiously optimistic. It could be good, but we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. As such, I've decided that in this video, I'm going to be talking about the biology of the original Wolfman from the 1940s. The Wolfman has haunted audiences since his debut in the 1941 Universal Studios classic. But beneath the Hollywood horror lies a question that captures the imagination. Could such a creature actually exist? Today, we'll apply biology, genetics and evolutionary theory to dissect the science behind the Wolfman, exploring his transformation, anatomy, behaviour, evolutionary origins and vulnerabilities. From the agonising metamorphosis under the full moon to the tragic duality of man and beast, let's uncover the science behind the legend. The transformation from human to werewolf is central to the Wolfman mythos, but scientifically, such a drastic change presents enormous challenges. Nature already provides examples of drastic transformations. Insects undergo metamorphosis, a caterpillar dissolves itself into a biological soup within a cocoon, emerging as a butterfly. Amphibians, like frogs, experience radical bodily restructuring during their development. However, mammals don't typically exhibit such transformations. The Wolfman's transformation is clearly triggered by an external environmental cue, the moonlight. In reality, animals already respond to light cycles. Humans produce melatonin in response to darkness, regulating sleep patterns. Seasonal breeders, such as deer, undergo hormone-driven physical changes in response to environmental cues. A genetic mutation tied to lunar light could theoretically trigger a werewolf transformation. For the Wolfman, millions of cells would need to divide, grow and specialise in minutes. This is almost biologically impossible. Cancer cells divide rapidly, but at an uncontrolled and destructive rate. In some animals, like axolotls, cellular regeneration allows them to grow back lost limbs. If such regeneration could be controlled and sped up, it might enable full transformations. The skeleton would also need to stretch, elongate and reshape itself without killing the host. Some animals, like certain snakes, have extremely flexible skulls. However, mammals have more rigid bones, making such a transformation incredibly painful and likely fatal without extreme biological adaptations. While plausible mechanisms exist for environmental triggers and genetic responses, the rapid, large-scale cellular and skeletal restructuring required for a werewolf transformation seems biologically insurmountable, at least with our current understanding of science. The Wolfman's physical attributes reveal a hybrid predator, a blend of human intellect and animalistic power. The Wolfman's jaw seems optimised for tearing and crushing, with pronounced canines and enlarged jaw muscles. In nature, big cats and wolves have similarly powerful jaw structures, designed to immobilise and kill prey. A hybrid jaw that balances human speech and wolf-like biting power would require immense anatomical restructuring. The Wolfman exhibits extraordinary strength, throwing people across rooms and overpowering multiple foes. This suggests denser musculature and enhanced fast-twitch muscle fibres, similar to those seen in apex predators like lions or gorillas. Such muscle adaptation would drastically increase caloric needs. The rapid growth of fur during transformation seems impossible. Hypertrichosis, often referred to as werewolf syndrome, is a real genetic condition where excessive hair grows across the body. However, growing a full coat of functional fur within minutes would require a metabolic miracle. The Wolfman possesses heightened smell, hearing and night vision. Wolves rely heavily on their olfactory senses, with a sense of smell 100 times stronger than humans. Human beings do have dormant olfactory receptors, and theoretically, a genetic switch could amplify them. 
A transformed wolfman would need enormous amounts of energy to sustain its muscular activity and metabolism. Predators like tigers eat up to 88 pounds of meat in one sitting to sustain their energy demands. A werewolf would need a similar caloric intake. The wolfman's anatomy suggests a highly specialised predator, blending human adaptability with wolf-like hunting efficiency. However, sustaining such a body would require enormous biological resources. The wolfman isn't just a physical monster. His behaviour reveals a tragic internal conflict. The limbic system, responsible for primal emotions like fear, aggression and pleasure, might dominate during transformation. Higher brain functions like reasoning and morality could be suppressed. This mirrors behaviour seen in animals experiencing fight or flight responses. Wolves are most active during dawn and dusk. The wolfman, driven by lunar triggers, behaves similarly, emerging under the full moon and operating predominantly at night. This behaviour aligns with nocturnal predators who rely on stealth and low-light adaptations. Wolves are pack animals, relying on cooperation for hunting. However, the wolfman acts alone. This suggests a conflict between his human social instincts and the lone predator behaviour forced upon him by his transformation. The duality of retaining a human mind trapped in a bestial form would likely cause psychological trauma. This mirrors dissociative identity disorders in humans, where fragmented personalities emerge under stress or trauma. The Wolfman is not just a beast, he's a creature torn between primal instincts and human conscience, creating a haunting psychological conflict. But how could such a creature arise in evolutionary history? A virus, perhaps, similar to rabies, could explain the sudden behavioural and physical changes seen in the wolfman. Rabies already causes aggression, hydrophobia and changes in brain chemistry. A hypothetical lycanthropy virus might rewire the host's body and mind. Another possibility is hybrid ancestors. Speculatively, ancient humans might have interbred with a wolf-like hominin. Dormant traits could lie hidden in our DNA, reactivated under specific environmental triggers. If this ancient hominin developed a genetic link to moonlight, it might explain the wolfman's transformation triggers. Viral infections, hybrid ancestry or adaptive evolutionary pressures could hypothetically explain how such a creature emerged in deep time. Despite his power, the Wolfman has several notable weaknesses, Silver being primary amongst them. Silver has antimicrobial properties. If the Wolfman's biology depends on a viral or microbial agent, Silver might disrupt its cellular processes. Moon dependency is another weakness. Without lunar triggers, the transformation doesn't occur. This suggests a direct hormonal or metabolic link to moonlight. The Wolfman also has a profound psychological weakness. The Wolfman often hesitates or experiences emotional torment, suggesting a deep psychological vulnerability tied to his remaining humanity. The Wolfman's weaknesses suggest a blend of physical and psychological vulnerabilities tied to both his biology and his humanity. The Wolfman represents one of cinema's most haunting monsters, a tragic predator driven by instinct yet burdened by conscience. While the science behind such a creature remains largely speculative, we can see glimpses of plausibility in viral infections, genetic triggers and evolutionary pressures. The Wolfman serves as a chilling reminder that sometimes the greatest horrors lie within ourselves. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video on the Wolfman, then please hit the like button and the subscribe button to be notified of future uploads. I upload a new video every Friday, and I would very much like for you to check them out. Also, if you're feeling generous, you can become a member or patron of mine by following the links in the description. I would also like to give a special thanks to my current members and patrons who could be seen here. This has been the Beware Cast, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.